we would uh, uh, try to understand normal growing stock in clear felling sy system by using yield table method now what is yield table yield table gives volume of each age gradation growing stock can be readily calculated by adding up the volumes in successive years it usually gives a data for uh, at an intervals of 5 or 10 years under such some circumstances normal growing stock can be accurately determined by plotting the yield table data on a graph paper drawing a smooth curve and computing the area under the curve like this for different age classes it will give you the volume uh, growing stock at different age classes say 5 say 10 say 15 and you draw a smooth curve and this will give you the uh, the a computing the area under the curve by planimeter or area square method will give you the normal growing stock now uh, we have an alternate method like this uh, normal growing stock uh, from uh, yield table let n be the yield table interval and a b c d gives the volumes at the ages 2 n 2 n 3 n and 4 n means a is the volume at age n b is the volume at age 2 n c is the volume at age 3 n and d is the volume at age 4 n then to calculate the total growing stock we have to uh, we have to add up all the volumes then sum sum of age gradations from 0 to n now we know that um, it has an interval of uh, uh, n years uh, so the sum of age gradations from 0 to n will be given by this formula uh, 0 plus a into n plus 1 upon 2 similarly sum of volumes of age gradations from n to 2n 2n to 3n 3n to 4n so this was 0 to n are uh, inclusive are respectively uh, from now now uh, this was from 0 to n now from n to 2n n to 2n will be means n is a for n uh, n it is a and 2n it is b so a volume a volume 1 plus volume 2 volume a plus volume b into n plus 1 upon 2 then we have uh, similarly the volume from 2n to 3n will be b plus c into n plus 1 upon 2 then from 2n to 3n or 3n to 4n it will be c plus d into n plus 1 upon 2 so these are the volume of age gradations this is the volume of age gradation from 0 to n this is the volume uh, for uh, uh, um, this uh, n to 2n this is from 2n to 3n and this is from 3n to 4n now we have to add all these to get the growing stock and uh, uh, all these all these we have to sum up all these to uh, get the growing stock but we we uh, if we carefully observe these terms a in all these four terms a is occurring twice b is occurring twice and c is occurring twice uh, except uh, except d so what you are going to do is uh, adding of these gives twice the volumes of age gradations uh, in the summation all yield table entries are at double except the last one so hence the values a b and c have to be subtracted so when we sum all these terms we will subtract a b and c because they are occurring twice it will increase our the growing stock unnecessarily so adding all these we have a common term n plus 1 upon 2 we will be left with a plus a b plus b plus c plus c plus d so d is occurring only once so we are going to subtract it uh, the term with a plus b plus c because they are occurring twice so we are subtracting a plus b not d because that is occurring only once now uh, re rearranging the terms we get n plus 1 upon 2 into 2 into a plus b plus c plus d upon uh, d upon 2 minus a we are simply uh, you know uh, taking uh, 2 as common then uh, rearranging uh, the terms automatically 2 and 2 is gone here we are left with n plus 1 into a plus b plus c plus d plus 4 and minus a plus b plus c so here we'll take uh, we'll mul cross multiply this term with this term we are getting n plus a n into a plus n, uh, n b plus n c plus uh, n, n d upon 2 plus a plus b plus c plus d upon 2 and this term 
माइनस ए माइनस बी एंड माइनस सी वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई माइनस सो अल्टीमेटली वी आर लेफ्ट विद एन इन टू ए प्लस बी प्लस सी प्लस डी अपॉन टू प्लस डी बाई टू दिस इज द ग्रोइंग स्टॉक एट द एंड ऑफ द ग्रोइंग सीजन बिफोर द फाइनल इन द क्रॉप इन द फाइनल एज क्लास इज मेच्योर एज क्लास इज फेल्ड नाउ वी हैव द सेम केसेज इफ वी वॉन्ट टू रिमूव this volume as uh, yield so we have to uh, you know subtract it with d now once we subtract this with d we are left with this thing which is nothing but uh, you know uh, growing stock before the felling uh, you know sorry uh, uh, growing stock after the felling of the oldest gradation Uh, it becomes from plus d minus two when we subtract it by d, it becomes minus d by two, and this is the term averaging both my plus d by two and minus d by two. It uh, both will be gone and we'll be left with zero. So this is the growing stock uh, at the end of the growing season after felling of the oldest gradation. So this is how we calculate growing stock um, using yield table uh, method. Now we have uh, comparison. Uh, in the form of an illustration using both the methods like uh, we have uh, this this is the these are the figures that are available from the yield table now using the mei method we use normal growing stock is equal to uh we have i into r so i here is given we know that this is the final uh, age class which we harvest uh, at the end of the growing season so this is 806 i and r is 100 upon 2 so we get uh, 403.39 cubic meter per hectare now this this is this is the uh, growing stock using mai method now if we use the yield table method we ha have to use this uh, formula this formula we have we have to use this formula for uh, estimation of the same so we going to uh, use uh, this uh, Term means a, uh, sorry means n, n is in n is ten. Then zero, first term is zero a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f g h and i like in the uh, previous a plus b plus c e, and last we have d by last term is to be divided by two. So last term is eight zero six. Eight zero six is to be divided by two cubic meter. So this is the three uh, normal growing stock. using yield table method 350 by comparing both the uh, you know figures we can observe that the values of growing stock are smaller in average uh, you know uh, from yield table method than the normal uh, than using mean annual increment method so that's all about uh, the growing stock using uh, mei method and yield table method thank you